Welcome back to a 1957 Chevrolet video here on Chop Dog Garage. You are not going to believe how much work Harlan has gotten done since we've last checked in. So, yeah, things are starting to look pretty good. Hmm, that looks like fun. <laughs> so you can see in here, he's getting closer and closer to being able to change this floor but you got to have some structure to hold the car together before you can put it on the rotisserie so gotta get this rear all done but yeah this looks great looks like he's uh really coming along okay and now i know what part of the 57 he wanted to work on looks like we're putting the rear together that's my guess because i imagine he would like this to be able to roll soon make his life easier okay it's actually warming up in this room pretty good but we're starting to just gather parts and bring them in so they were all sitting right here we got that i've still got to do the, grab the drums but while i'm here i happen to have a first gen handy yeah that's what i thought okay yeah, that really does hide quite a bit of sin. And look at that. That's also pretty whoopy. Huh. All right. And then, well, look at that. That body line is also not together. Well, son of a monkey. Wow. I'll have to put some tape on that later. So, anyway, I think he's out getting radius rods and stuff. So, I'm going to grab my little gloves and go on out. Because it's kind of chilly outside. Okay, so here's an awful lot of our parts right here, our bolts, shocks, some springs for the front coilovers, all our washers, U-bolt straps, that's to a 78 Camaro, ignore it, these little offset bushing guys, this is the T-bolts and face bolts for putting the rear on. Okay, these are the locks for the 9 inch. So, yeah, just got to go back through and remember what our stack ups are here. Okay, there's nothing quite like trying to remember what we were doing, but we're starting to sort out our bolts, and then it's time to unwrap these guys. Okay, we think we've got this sorted out. Now, remember, everything's painted, so you got to kind of convince things sometimes. But I think we sorted it out. Ignore the fact, guys. This is the reality. It's Minnesota. It's winter. Okay. So we've got that one started. We've got these little spacers. Because there's no rubber isolator on this kit. And then, because she's painted, we get to play the whack it in there game. And then this one needs a washer. So bolt, washer, coming through. Okay. Gonna need a little tap here because, you know, paint is paint. What do you do? and the washers on each one of them until this is uh, located. Okay, that part went uh, actually really smooth. So I think next we will look at some shocks to act as limiters and then probably clean up for the center section. Okay, so digging everything out, even found the instructions. That came from Ride Tech. So here's our rears. And there's our springs right here. And all of that stuff 
turns them into coilovers. And here's our first, uh, hmm. So I've lubed all that, got those all set on there. It says turn this all the way down full clockwise and then slide this on. Yeah, that's literally not going to happen, Ride Tech. We're going to have to figure something else out. I got a feeling I'm pulling this little knob off. I hope that's not going to be a problem. Okay, so we turned the valve all the way in like I said. Then we went and got a Torx and took the knob off and whew, it worked. And getting ready to hang these guys. I just started one. I'll get that one started and then we'll do the adjustments to get that where we want it. And then this will be self-supporting. Okay, so there's one. One of the things we found is the bolt has to go from the other direction. But look at that. Let's get this one bolted on. Okay. So, and then obviously none of this stuff has been torqued and won't be for a while. We just need it all in place. Okay, so we just got those studs in. That was fun. So, turned out... The nut off of a rod bolt really did a good job for that. So, studs are installed. Whew. That was fun. Okay, you always forget how heavy these are. So, I'm getting ready to drive all that down. And we don't even bother with the gasket that always leaks. We just RTV them. Alright. Torque down. Cleaned up the excess goop. That looks really nice. Okay, we've got that axle in. And I'll explain how this all goes together in just a second. You can see this axle's all in, brakes on, has to go on at the same time. So, on a Ford 9 inch, first thing you're going to do is knock in the axle seal, which should look like this. And that's in here, the second lip in. Use your, use your bearing tool, or you'll be un unhappy. Then, position two of these guys to kind of help we're going to set the brake on here with one nut just to hold it and then we're going to grease the axle after that has been installed a little bit of grease on the inside lip so we don't tear it and then this bearing fits through there into here it won't push all the way in resist the temptation to beat on the axle you'll be unhappy don't do that instead what happens is there's a plate this color plate that draws it in it's going to sit like that and then we're going to use these t-bolts and slowly draw the bearing in and that is where this high point style rides so it's semi floating because we have an axle or a bearing on this end so that is the order that goes Takes a few minutes, it's awkward and heavy, but it's not the end of the world. It's pretty simple. I almost forgot to remind you, super important, that the wheel cylinder on this brake goes up. And also, I always use Archer. <laughs> okay, see, that's installed nice and square. Don't go crazy. You'll bend it, and then it'll leak. Huh. Yeah. And then one thing to note, you do have a large access hole with most of your axles for getting on there. But I suggest for initial tightening, just play the wrench game, you know, a little and a little and a little and a little. Until, until you start really making progress. And remember, keep moving around, move around, move around, or the bearing's not going to seat properly. So at this point, oh, I'm not left-handed. But hopefully you saw that uh, we're moving. So look at that. We now have the start of the rear suspension in. Now none of these bolts are torqued at this point. We may find that all this has to come off to be adjusted. So there's no point in torquing that yet. We just want them on there. But yeah, that, uh, that's our best guess for right height and everything for now. Like I said, all of this will have to happen during alignment. But boy, that looks nice. And with that, that was a pretty long night. So, you still got to finish unmasking this drum and sliding that on. 
But, uh, yeah, we're pretty happy. That was a lot to accomplish in, in five hours. So, ah, get some paint tires on there. And then it's time for the front suspension. That's never fun. Oh, always, always a pain. But coilovers does make it ever so slightly easier. So, anyway, thanks for watching. To our 1,000 plus subscribers, we really do appreciate you. I don't know why you're watching us, but I'm glad you are. So, have a good night. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This has been another ShopRex approved video.